All right, my friends and fellow sufferers of the Google review void, I am here to tell you some really good news. It was like Christmas yesterday. Finally got, I believe it was 19 reviews that popped up. For over a year, we've been stuck at 15 reviews and finally got um, a bunch of new reviews that popped in yesterday. Some of them from like a year ago, you know, and, and more. Like all of these ones here, this one and up basically. And this one here, this one was from two years ago that popped in and uh, we just weren't seeing reviews come through. So I was like, eh, kind of fine, I'll just let it roll. But then I saw a lot of people in the groups having issues with that and I knew one guy that had left a review that wasn't showing up. So I decided to kind of dig into it and I'm here today to walk you through the process that we used to get our reviews back on Google. So you can follow this process and do the same for you, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to support.google.com slash business slash get help. Okay. So I'll leave this, uh, you know, I'll have this in a document for you guys, but you can also just type it right in support.google.com slash business slash get help. What you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to, um, come right here. It's going to bring you to this page. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure that you're in the right Google Chrome Chrome profile that matches your business listing, that your business listing is set up in, okay? So currently, um, I have this set up on the first email that I use for the business. So I'm just gonna log in there, make sure that it's, you know, indeed set up on the right one. And then it's gonna, it's gonna walk us through a process here. So what business do you need help with? I need help with that one. What I wrote here was Google reviews missing. And then I went next, okay? So that's what they're gonna help me with. Next, they're going to bring up, you know, the best description. You're going to click review missing. Next step. You can go read these articles, but I just went right to next step. And then from here, it's going to ask you, you know, what's your preferred language? You're going to pick the appropriate one. And then you're going to click, you know, contact options. It really only gives you email. So you're going to click on that. You write your name. You're going to, um, you know, put in your email address and put in your phone number here. Oops. And then what's your relationship to the business? You own the business. Blue Crocus Solutions. I may not have to fill this all out for the uh, tutorial here. But fill that out, fill out your business address, and then your business profile ID. How do you get to that? You're gonna go over, you're just gonna search for your listing, make sure you're logged into the right profile when you're searching. You're going to do Blue Crocus it's right there. And then right here, you're just going to click on here to business profile settings and then advanced settings. And it's going to give you this ID right here. So you're going to grab your ID, copy ID, and then you're going to come back to here. You're going to pop it in there. Has this profile been recently suspended or disabled? You'll have to answer that for yours. In, in our case, no. Does it belong to an elementary or high school? No. How many reviews? So I actually thought I was only missing one review. Um, I thought that the review that I was missing was this one here from Steve Coffin two years ago, because he actually sent me a screenshot of it when he did it. So I was like, all right, I'll just, I'll just put that one review. So if you have one customer that uh, has left a review and you haven't, um, you know, it actually come through, see if you can get them to actually let you know and send you a screenshot of it. The more customers you can get that can send you a screenshot that they actually entered it, because on their end, they'll be able to see it. Um, then it's ammunition for later on, and I'll get into that. Are new reviews being published on the profile? In our case, we hadn't gotten a new one for a year, so you'll have to answer this correctly based on, on your situation. What's the time frame? I think I said uh, one year plus, and then I put in Steve Coffin, and then I just basically said, um, you know, reviews, reviews have not been showing up. You're going to have to describe what's, what's relevant to you. But I said, reviews have not been showing up. Um, the, you know, I have this one person that I, in particular that I know that hasn't, you know, the review hasn't come through. I use their name, you know, Steve's reviews have not come through, but I'm pretty sure we've got other reviews that are just not coming through. Okay. So you write that out, be gracious, be courteous. Um, do not, you know, just rail on Google. I know some of you are frustrated, but we're playing in their sandbox and you have to, you have to play their game. So be gracious. There are people on the other end that are working to resolve this. Okay. So you can describe your issue. Reviews aren't showing up. I know one particular, you know, use their name if you can. And then, uh, basically you're going to submit it. They're going to give you a case ID. Make sure you screenshot that. 
You're gonna submit it here and then you're done on here. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna get an email from Google. So thank you for contacting Google Business Profile Support. So we're the 29th of June today. The 28th was when our review showed up and I started this process on the 14th. So it's about a two week process. So thank you for contacting Google Business Profile Rep um, Support. I understand that their reviews are missing and that's gonna go through here. And basically what you're gonna then say is you're gonna say the re resources that you provided did not help me resolve the issue. Please let me know how I can get my reviews reinstated. Okay, you're gonna be very gracious. You're gonna be very um, to the point and you're gonna say that. Then they're gonna come back. Greetings, appreciate you reaching out. This is regarding this. I understand that this is um, you know, gonna be affecting things. I'm escalating it. So this is what you want. You want them to be escalating your query to a specialist. Please don't worry, I'll get back to you. So then I said, th awesome. Thank you for your assistance. When can I re expect a reply? So I basically wrote back, so this was, you know, they were pretty quick to get back. I wrote back a day later and said this. They responded a day after, you know, thank you. We're working on it. I said, thank you for the update. So three days later, I said, thank you for the update because I just wanted to keep things going. It was like every two or three days I tried to pop in. So then two days after that, I said, any update on this? And then they, they reply back, we're working on it. Awesome. So go in expecting it's going to take about two weeks. I've heard this from a couple other people that I was talking to. And then I said, thank you for your response. Looking forward to an update. Then, so that was six days. And then three days after that, they were like, hey, sorry about that. Um, and then, so that was three days ago. So yesterday, that would have been two days after this email, I actually got a call from a number in India. And he was like, hey, go check your check your listing, your, your reviews are back. And I was like, Christmas, man, I'm telling you. So walk through this process um, and you know, go through the two week process, but let me know how it goes and let me know if this works for you. And uh, everyone, you know, I, I talked to a few people in this process researching it and they'd all had good success with it. So hopefully this works for you. Let me know if you have any questions or anything's not clear in the process, but guys, go get those reviews back. So I forgot one thing to add here. When you're going through here in the emails, if they're responding back and you're having issues getting those reviews back, this is where you come in with those screenshots that I talked about earlier from clients that they've actually left a review. And then you can just email that over and say, hey, I've got a screenshot from a client actually leaving a review. I don't know if this helps you, but this, you know, this shows proof on our end that we're actually getting reviews that aren't showing up. So I didn't have to do that here. I wanted to run it through without that in case you guys don't have that option. But that is uh, another element of proof that one, you own the listing, two, you're actually getting reviews from clients and they're not coming through. And, you know, three, just more more things for them to use to legitimize the whole the whole claim that you're making. Hope this has been helpful. If you did find it helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Please follow along with what we're doing. We're trying to bring you more value like this on a regular basis.